Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and today we're gonna be doing another Overwatch. Please don't be a cheater, please don't be a cheater. It looks like he has one kill with 100% headshot percentage. That's nothing though. I mean, let's be honest, we've all gotten a kill with a headshot before, so... <laughs> that's, uh... That's not too suspicious. Either way, he's gonna be making his way over here towards Squeaky Door, he throws a smoke grenade. Well, now he does. It looked like he was going to throw a smoke grenade, but he bailed on the idea at first. Either way... Throws that nade over, and let's see if he decides to push through the smoke. He does. He's going to get shot in the back a little bit. Comes around towards quad box. Knows he has to be over here, and he's going to, like, pre-fire it as he goes around the corner and takes him down. I mean, given the position of his teammates, that wasn't actually too suspicious. Either way, he's going to be looking over here to the right. He's going to jump up on the lights. One of them comes in. Good positioning. Good kill. And looks over towards truck. One more guy creeping his way up. This is Sonar. And, well, he's in a 2v1. He's playing it a little bit aggressively. Let's see if his teammate will help take the point or at least get that trade kill. Doesn't actually pop flashes for him. Great teamwork there. Wow. All right, so I don't think this is a cheater game, but I do think that this is a... Well, this is... This guy's probably queued with his teammates. If not, this is a very high-level game if they're pop flashing for each other like that. Either way, he's able to take down Calf. And he's going to throw a nade over here to right side of mid and fall back over towards B. Bomb is down in T spawn, so someone's going to have to go pick that up if they decide to take a site. Either that or they're just going to kill them all. Uh, they took down Taurus, and that's just going to leave one guy left. He is here at the B site. No one's going for the bomb, so maybe they're just going to try to hunt him. We'll see. Either way, he does take a little tap with his gun here. Checks over to the left. No one here to get the bomb. And he's going to make his way over towards the A site, which has been secured by this point. Meanwhile, Bulldog's just kind of sitting there waiting to see if anyone decides to flank. He's going to be coming up with him just in case someone catches him off guard. Meanwhile, the suspect's spamming like... I don't know. He thinks there's a guy there for some reason. Either way, the guy is not there. He's going to be planting the bomb in the site, planning for A main. Squeaky, good plant spot. And the last guy is still over at the B site with an M4. Did this teammate just B-hop backwards? No. Wait, maybe. A little bit, but I don't think that's a script. I think that he's just trying to B-hop backwards. Either way. Yeah, he keeps screwing it up, so. A peek towards middle, last guy still at B. He just wants to save that gun. He doesn't want to do anything else at this point. And they win the round. Nice round, team. There's a couple of hops coming in. He's able to hop pretty well occasionally. But uh, that's not the suspect. Either way. Flashes go over middle. I do believe this is either a team of Smurfs or just a high level team. It might be a 5Q. It might be less than just a couple guys that are on a team together or play with each other a lot in fairly high level games. But right now, the one thing it doesn't look like is a cheater. And that's good. What would you rather play? A high level player or someone straight up cheating? You know, you could at least learn and adapt to the high level player. You can't do that with a cheater. <laughs> Playing against high level players is typically the best way to get better faster. Just so you guys know, because I know a lot of guys are very anti smurfs out there. Still though, I don't think he's smurfing. I actually just think this is somewhere above double eagle. Takes a shot through the... Getting tagged up through that fence. It's not a fence, it's a garage. Getting garage door. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Either way, his teammate's gonna spam him. And take him down. And the next round, it's going live. Right now, the suspect is number one in kills on his team. It's definitely their uh, sniper for right now. So he's making his way over here towards the A site. 
Peeks the corner, doesn't spot anyone out pushing that smoke. He's gonna throw a smoke of his own to allow him and his teammates to start going in. He actually throws a molly into his own smoke, which is kind of silly. I think he meant to throw that on the left, on the left side of forklift. Right where Manatee is at right now. I think that's where he wanted to throw it. Still, spots out a guy up top. He's able to hit him with an AWP and well, his teammate finishes off the other guy over at forklift. Now he's gonna peek out. He does spot one more, he peeks out. Kind of whiffing a lot of shots here. And he's gonna get taken out. He deserved to go down after missing all those shots. Just take your time, hit the shot, and move on. All right, he's gonna keep making his way over here towards the A site. He's got an AK this time. He's spamming over towards that fence area. The other guy actually shot first. So there's nothing too suspicious about that. It throws a decoy. Let's see if they decide to fall back off of here now that they've kind of faked a commitment to it. It looks like they are uh, repositioning people, but they're still going to take the A site. The red door, he's going to open it up. He spots a guy over at forklift. He's able to shoot him in the face. Got blind by his teammate, though. That kind of sucks. Either way, he's going to be checking towards site. Fence is clear. One guy is in sight, able to catch him off guard and take him down. This is a great match, actually. So used to just watching cheaters just run amok and destroy the game. And here, it's actually a pretty close game. Good teamwork, good flashes, people working together, good communications. Quite entertaining. By the way, he's going to open the door here, throw a flashbang. Maybe he won't. And he does. Does get the guy over by forklift, peeks out, and doesn't spot him out. The Molotov comes in and forces him off of door here. He's gonna try to spam someone through this garage door. It was all over those guys, honestly. It looked like walls because he was so all over them, but I'm sure that, that was just a spam. There's nothing else in this game that's made me think that he's been walling. One guy is in the mid warehouse making his way around and there's a guy over to the left. Spots out the guy mid warehouse, tags him up a little bit. He's gonna drop down, try to get himself a better position here. Now they could boost over and try to take him out, but he's just kind of holding right here for right now. Jumps across, good movement, and he gets taken out by the boost, which is what I would have expected. And throw a smoke over here to the left. Smokes off B, and that's going to allow him to push up here. He throws a deep nade in case the guy's pushed up on that smoke. Peeks out over towards Checkers. He actually jiggle peeked it, and because of that, Taurus missed the shot, and the suspect's going to push in. That was well played. Very well played. Almost as if he knew he was there. Um, I imagine this guy has thousands of hours from how he's playing and how his teammates are playing, so... I would say that, that was all very planned out. Either way, he's going to be holding down here on the bottom. Send there a grenade, drops towards back of sight. And Manatee is going to take down one. Peeks up towards Heaven, is able to take down two can. This is going to leave one CT left with a Deagle and a Dream. And he's going to go down. All right, moving on to the next round. Right now he's got 13 kills. His teammate has four, five, four, and three. I mean, he's doing the brunt of the work, let's be honest. He's got a flashbang. He flashes over red box, and he's going to peek over here to the left. Spams over towards the mid connector. Spams into the smoke to see if anyone's over to the right. His teammate boosts over and is able to take down two guys in mid. One more guy in mid he's going to have to deal with, though. Meanwhile, there is one guy still over here at the A site by fence. Let's see if he clears it. Oh, we heard the guy shoot, so he knows he's there. Comes around, shoots him in the face. Throwing smoke. Landed. All right, guys, we have a decision to make here. Uh, you saw that the guy was aiming through the wall at the guy on fence. I mean, it is possible that he's walling. The thing is, he's just showing so, showing so much game knowledge that makes it look like he's a high-level player. And because of that, 
I imagine he knows the angles pretty well and how people position themselves, where people play. Either way, minor disruption, griefing, insufficient evidence. He wasn't griefing. He wasn't trying to hinder his teammates in any way. Major disruption, other external assistance. I didn't see him like bunny hop scripting or speed hacking or upside down views from him. So insufficient evidence there. Move our way up to major disruption, vision assistance. That is the only thing that could technically even be thought of to be called because there was some suspicious moments like him spamming through the garage, uh, like pixel perfect on the guy, kind of almost following him through the garage. And then, uh, of course, when he was peeking that last guy at the fence, he actually aimed on the guy through the wall before peeking out. Uh, again, if you know it well enough, you practice it enough, you probably got the angles down. So there's a good chance that he just has enough hours played that he knows all these things and he's just a high enough level player. Uh, so I'm going to say insufficient evidence because there just isn't enough for me to say it's evident beyond reasonable doubt. Either way, major disruption aim assistance. He had some pretty freaking good aim, but definitely not hack worthy. So I'm going to say insufficient evidence here as well. This was probably a global game. That guy was probably on a high level ESEA team or equivalent. So, you know, that's that, right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and have a great day.